All right, Mother's Day coming up. Don't forget Mother's Day. If you're looking uh, for uh, maybe, I don't want to say if you're looking, looking for a gift because this has a very special home, the jewelry that we are looking to collect and you're looking to give out. Uh, the jewelry shop is for Rochester City Schools. Uh, the program encourages jewelry donation to support school attendance and honor moms. Cool concept that we're going to talk about with Megan Crawford of Vance Jewelers and Joni Reynolds, who is the event co-chair. Ladies, thanks for coming on. I love this concept. What a great concept. Walk us through it because it's a lot, maybe people hadn't heard of it before. Sure. The Mother's Day uh, jewelry shop concept is very basic. Um, students that improve their attendance over the course of uh, several weeks in the spring are able to come to the jewelry shop and select a piece of donated jewelry for their mom or caregiver. That is so cool. And Mann's, of course, one of the well-known jewelers in our area. How did you guys get involved with this? Well, we're really helping with the collection process for the jewelry, so we're just giving women a place where they can come in, drop off their costume jewelry donations, and we're cleaning and polishing and getting them all ready for presentation to the kids. And when we talk about donations, some amazing pieces have come in, I understand. Some that still had price tags on and never really worn before. Well, and we're all wearing some today, actually. So Jody has a piece on, um, I have a piece on, and we just wanted to represent what people, what the community has been bringing into the store. Uh, and Jennifer, and by yes, the way, is... they, yes. they said, "Do you want to wear jewelry?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> And I was thinking about these donations too. Even if you know, maybe it's a piece that you like, but has a little piece that's missing or has been broken. Vans mm -hmm. is doing some of the repairs, right? Yeah, we'll put some batteries into watches that need batteries. We'll do some minor repairs. And most importantly, the cleaning and polishing, since it's pre-worn jewelry, you know, all the jewelry comes in like new condition to the kids at the shop. Mm. So we take care of all of that. Did you all take this idea to the city school district? I mean, when, when the two th ideas came together, the, the idea and the city school district, were they just like, this is great, we still want to be a part of it? Um, yes, that's um, exactly <laughs> what happened. We, the, well, the program actually started in Rochester four years ago, but it's a national program. Oh. And we are working with schools that have a real attendance issue. And so we reached out to the Rochester City School District, and that's how we uh, started with the schools we're at now. Tell me the, about the feedback from the kids. It has been so positive. They are so excited to select <laughs> the piece of jewelry for their moms. Mm. It's something that's so special. They've worked so hard to improve their attendance, and then to be able to come to the shop is such a special treat. And I'm assuming the moms aren't complaining either. They're getting yeah. some, <laughs> some jewelry out of it as well. And but it just must spark that discussion about the importance of attendance, I'm assuming? It's so true. It's so important for not just improving academic success, but also for improving graduation rates. And that is the amazing thing about this program, is that we are really um, teaching that important life lesson and then also as a benefit, the, the moms or caregivers who are also instilling those values are, are rewarded as well. Mm -hmm. Interesting. If you don't have it already, you should get uh, Father's Day on the, <laughs> on the list, too. I don't know what you would have, like used tools or something. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is amazing. Where should people go? If they, should they just drop it off? Is there still room or time to do this? Yes. Up until May 1st, both of our uh, locations are collecting jewelry, so our location at Eastview Mall and on Monroe Avenue. And then as an extra little incentive, we're um, giving, we're having a raffle. So anybody Ooh. who um, drops off jewelry gets one raffle ticket for each item that they donate to the program. Ooh. And we're giving away these beautiful David Yerman earrings um, to one person that we will t uh, draw a name from all the entries at the end of the donation period. And yeah, I don't know if you were seeing it on TV, but they are beautiful. She used the word beautiful, and it's very appropriate. Trust me, seeing it here in person. Uh, and if there's any moms out there in the city school district who say, you know what, my kids go to these schools, and um, they want to make sure that they can be a part of it, do they check in with their the superintendent? Do they check in with the principal? I, I mean, how if, 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 well, if they want to sort of make sure their child's on the right track attendance-wise? Yeah, they can certainly work with the teachers, administrators. Um, there's uh, a, a great support, you know, working with the, the moms. I, I think that, um, yeah. yeah. Well, great. Thank you both so much. We so appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Hope you have time.